All right, Nigel, we all know that this was difficult for him to prove that specifically the Mirror Group had done illegal things, but he's using his moment on the stand to shoot as many as he can verbally. Yes, that's right. I mean, look, what happened here with our press, which, you know, had in the past been very, very vicious, I mean, no other press in the world like it, is it was only Rupert Murdoch's newspapers that got convicted of phone hacking. Don't tell me it was just the Murdoch press doing it. Uh, and so I understand why Harry, in this action against the Mirror Group, is saying the things that he's saying. And the Mirror Group themselves have admitted that some of the stories they published back in the day uh, were obtained through means that weren't perhaps within the law. So, in a sense, I understand why Harry is taking this case. However, to use his 55-page opening statement to even attack the government, to say that, that the UK government is now at rock bottom, strikes me as treading off into the world of politics, which perhaps he ought not to be doing. But here's the real problem. The real problem is he's going to be in that witness stand for the best part of two days. He will be cross-examined by one of the sharpest-minded barristers in the land. And I can just imagine, I mean, if I was that barrister defending the mirror, I would say, well, Prince Harry, given that you admit to regular, repeated taking of all kinds of illegal drugs, how on earth can we trust your memory from that time? Do you see what I mean? He's putting himself, in, I think on a personal level, in a very dangerous position, and he could emerge from these two days with lots of supposition, very little proof, and a personality uh, that is made out to the rest of the world to be even weaker than we thought it was before. I understand his motives. His mother died in horrific circumstances when he was a young boy. I understand the emotion, but I think he's making a very, very big mistake. Prince Harry is testifying in court in his case against Mirror Group newspapers while the first day is over. He's suing them for damages, alleging journalists used phone hacking to write intrusive articles that cast him as a thicko and a playboy. A press scrum at the royal courts to witness one royal's crusade against the press. Harry believes he can prove the tabloids were liars and lawbreakers. But according to his biography, Spare, Harry's father described his son's lawsuit as a suicide mission. Now we would see. We've used an actor's voice for Harry's witness statement. The tabloids would constantly try and, and coax me, a damaged young man, into doing something stupid that would make a, a good story and sell lots of newspapers. Looking back on it now, uh, such behaviour on their part is utterly vile. In his cross-examination, the Mirror's lawyer began by arguing that Prince Harry hadn't read many of the articles at the time, so couldn't have been distressed by them, citing ones written when he was a boy. There are no cameras and no recordings in court, but this is what the Duke said in response, performed by an actor. Uh, these articles were incredibly invasive and each time one of these articles were written, it had an effect on my life. The people around me, my mother in this case, her reaction to me as her son. Prince Harry often referred to invoices and payments to private investigators in his statement saying there were eight in relation to his mother. 
It was suggested in court that Princess Diana's phone was hacked when the Daily Mirror was edited by Piers Morgan, who in recent years has been a vocal critic of Harry and Meghan. Reference to this was also in Prince Harry's statement. The thought of Piers Morgan and his band of journalists earwigging into my mother's private and, and sensitive messages in the same way as they have me, and then having given her a nightmare time three months prior to her death in Paris, it makes me feel physically sick. Hello. What do you think of Harry's accusations? This was Piers Morgan's reaction. Uh, he said your behaviour was vile and unjustified. What do you think? I didn't see it. But I wish him luck with his privacy campaign. Look forward to reading it in his next book.